In this video, we'll look at the section tag and we'll also style it with CSS. The section tag belongs to a group of tags which are called semantic elements. Semantic elements are containers like the div tag, but unlike the div tag, they give meaning to web content. For example, one of the semantic elements is the nav tag. As you might guess, it contains navigation links. Since its meaning is defined, search engines and assistive technologies can better understand its purpose. It also can make the HTML code easier for web developers to understand and maintain. If you're interested, I have another video that uses these semantic tags to construct this sample news web page. A companion video styles it with CSS. You can find links to them in the video description. The purpose of the section tag is to group together a related block of generic content. If the content is not generic, but rather it's better described by one of the other semantic tags, then the other tag should be used instead. On the other hand, if there are no other semantic elements better suited, and the content is thematically connected, then the section tag may be appropriate. For example, if you have a news website, local news could be wrapped in one section tag, and national news could be wrapped in another section tag. So how are section elements used? Typically, a section element is expected to include a heading element. The heading element, together with all associated content, should be wrapped within the section element. In this example, we have a company mission section and a company value section. Now let's look at an example of styling these elements. I'll start by removing the current styling. To enable each section to be styled differently, both section tags contain an ID. This style sets the background and font colors of the mission section. This style sets the background color of the values section. This style sets the margin and padding of both sections. The corners are also rounded. And there you have it. The section element helps us create meaningful, organized, and accessible web content. By using it alongside CSS, we can design visually appealing and well-structured web pages. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment.